All right, so you guys know how much of a perv my father is. Uh, well, it, it runs in the family. His father before him, also kind of a perv. However, I learned very recently that my great-grandfather, my grandpa's grand, uh, not my grandpa's grandpa, my grandpa's dad, was actually a peeping Tom. He apparently always carried a pair of binoculars with him so that he could peep on ladies. Like, that explains so much. And I'm like, do you, I guess it takes like three whole generations to like bleed that out because I am not that creepy. Like, I'm creepy in my own way, but it's not that kind of creepy. No, 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 no. When someone meets my family, they inevitably ask, how are you, you? Why is that, you ask? <laughs> Have I got a story for you? All right, and before I get into the actual video for today, uh, last one of season three, eh, I just want to show you guys this shirt because it's amazing. This is one of my favorite shirts ever because Spider Gwen is fucking cool. I love her costume and she's fun. And uh, somebody asked me if it was my wife who did. I'm like, oh, I got a poster there and a poster there of Spider Gwen. I turned the camera, but you've already seen them. I've taken many pictures of them because I think I, I love her, her costume. I love her backstory. She's just a cool character. Okay, so not only are my dad and my dad's dad super creepy uh, in their own ways and just like pervs in general, they're also just terrible with ladies. And like I, I had said in the first season that like taking what my family's actions were like a handbook for how not to treat your family. Also take my father and sometimes his dad's actions like he's a my 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 I, I have no grandparents left um but my 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 dad's dad it's weird because i we usually called him papa and then my last name for my dad's dad and then my mom's dad was just papa so now i'm like do i use the last name like i don't have another nickname for him i don't i don't, I don't have anything for him unless you want to call him pneumonia guy but that'll be You'll learn about that a little later. Right now, I just want to say that they are, they were friggin' carrot, well, not where, my dad's not dead. No, 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 he's gonna live forever. That man has had a 98% clogged heart, and he's still kicking, walking like 18 miles a day, whatever. Nothing will kill that man. Uh, but they're both just terrible with women. And my, so my dad's dad, uh, while, he met a new lady that became his second wife or maybe third wife i don't know i don't know how that worked i don't know we don't know a lot of my dad's dad's relatives like my dad has a whole bunch of half brothers and sisters because his dad got around and we don't like know any of them so i don't know what order my dad's mom was in marriage or non-marriage whatever but what i do know is that while my dad was growing up uh, him and his siblings, like the siblings that we know, uh, his dad, his, his, my dad's dad, would make his wife watch the kids while he went on a date with his girlfriend. And that's just, that's just wrong. You don't do that. Now, my father's not that bad. He is a perv, yes. He's not that bad. But my father does not understand the art of the breakup. Oh, he is so bad at this. This one time, he went on a, okay. He went on a week-long vacation. He was going on a week-long vacation with uh, his lady friend at the time, and she was driving him. And he decided that on the drive there, he was going to break up with her. They're in the car, going away to a week-long vacation, and that's when he decides to break up with her. And he was upset that she was upset for the entire car ride and mad the entire week and mad on the ride home. He was like, I don't understand. I told her beforehand so we could forget about it and just enjoy the vacation. No, 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 that's not how this works. Nope, 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 nope. So I know now that if ever I'm about to go on vacation with a girl I'm about to break up with, I know not to, to, to break up with them on the way there. No, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't. Nobody out there? If you're listening, don't do that. No, 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 don't. Bad. My dad was kind of sweet when he was a kid. He always tells the story like, so some people are born with a silver spoon or a deck of cards. Uh, their 
I don't know if it's my grandpa or my grandpa's dad, but one, somebody in the family owned an ice cream truck, so they always had ice cream. And this one time they went out to the ice cream truck, one of my dad's sisters couldn't come. So they bought a whole bunch of ice cream. They got one extra one for, for, for his sister that couldn't come. And then I can't remember if it was his mom or his dad looked down and was like, where's the ice cream? And my dad was like, I put it in my pocket so I could bring it home to my sister. And they were like, oh, honey. And we, we, like, fast forward, like, 60 years, the lady friend that he's with now, uh, maybe fast forward 50 years, you know I'm bad at math. No, he's not, he's not that old. Uh, fast forward, like, 50 years, him and his current lady friend came to visit, and it was freezing, and now they're, they're, they're full-fledged Floridians at this point, even though they, they didn't grow up there. But they've been there long enough, both of them, that they're they're full fledged Floridians now. They they understand heat. They don't get cold. They don't they don't know why people want to live anywhere that there's snow and all that jazz. And I mean, to be fair, y'all have hurricanes. My dad literally sat in his trail. He lives. Remember, my father lives in an immobile home. It's a mobile home without wheels. Remember that. Uh, he actually sat in it during a hurricane while the roof got ripped off and he just sat because he forgot to evacuate or they forgot to evacuate him but i feel like when you know the hurricane is coming your first instinct is not let me sit here <sighs> it's a lot of work getting to that shelter no no no. most people's first reaction is pork chop sandwiches let's get the fuck out of here not my dad, though. He just sat back in his chair. I'm pretty sure he probably just watched the ceiling come off. Oh, that's not good. No, not of him. He's like, no, totally fine. Totally fine! <sighs> so I'm his lady friend come up. It's winter. And there's a little bit of snow out. And we're going for a... We're, we're walking to my sister's cafe at the time. And uh, his lady friend is like, oh my god, it's so cold. Oh my god, it's so cold. It's so, it's so cold. Oh, oh, how do you people stand it? It's so cold. It's so cold. And then she goes, you know what? I could really go for some ice cream. And we're like, what? So we go and get ice cream. And then she's like, oh, oh, it's so cold. And we're like, what? No wonder you're with my dad. You're an idiot. Speaking of not reading the situation properly, I think I've, you guys have heard about my father's 50 year old sandals and all that jazz, how I came for a week and I broke them, and that's the most furious I've ever seen in, in my, I've ever seen my father in my entire life. I think I've also told you the story of uh, one time the basement flooded in our old house, not the one we're in now. This house beat me up. The old house got beat up by the weather. Uh, but the basement flooded. And my mom was like, ah, we gotta get this stuff. And my dad opens the door, looks down, sees all the water. And then he turns around. My mom's like, what are you doing? And he's like, there's water down there. I gotta go down there and I, if I'm going down in the water, I'm gonna get my bathing suit. Like, I mean, it's good to be prepared, yes. But I think most people would have been like, oh, fuck my stuff. Not my dad. He was just like, mm, whatever, I gotta get a bathing suit if I'm gonna go in the water. Because you gotta wear a bathing suit when you go in the water. Makes sense, right? Probably also the latest he's ever gotten into a pool in his entire life. Because as you know, he gets up at fucking crack of dawn before the sun rises to get in the goddamn pool and that's the only time you can swim with him and ah why i just want to enjoy it i can't enjoy it if i don't sleep at all because as you know I, I probably could have gone to sleep a little earlier but that would have been no fun no 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 i don't like sleeping sleeping is sleep is for the week you can rest when you're dead now you're gonna figure out why i said pneumonia guy for my dad's dad so my dad's dad had pneumonia well over 10 times in his lifetime like he was known at the hospital for having pneumonia and coming in and then leaving and like when he was a kid he got really 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 sick because well when when my dad dad was a kid people, people still died regularly from pneumonia so uh that was a big problem and he had a really shitty childhood because he got super sick and like i, I hear no god damn it that's that's the banshee i'm not even shitting like no How, do you know i'm filming an episode and you're that's why she knew i was filming an episode and she's not in it so she has to call um uh but yeah 
I fuck you, dolphin whale. Um, ah, shit. No, I lost my train of thought. Uh, well, right. I I hear stories of how like his family disowned him because he was so sick and they didn't want to take care of him and what have you. And like a neighbor nursed him back to health and then they took him back. Just he had a real shitty childhood. And considering his childhood was so shitty and that he's he was always sick, like deathly ill. I'm talking like in like right on death's doorstep. Uh, sometimes I used to make jokes that it was like Bill and Ted's. Like he must have challenged death to a game at some point and beat him because like nothing could kill this man. And then when he when he actually died, I was like, no, he'll be back. Like that was a thing that happens because I'm so used to him being like right on death's door and then just walking away. Like la 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 la. la. He was very happy. He's like my dad, and then I, he, the you son right? of a bitch, shut the fuck up. That was also definitely my sister texting me. No, shut up. Um, you can't be in this ep- well, you're gonna be in this episode now. I'm not cutting that shit out. Nope, 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 nope. Y'all know now. She knows. Uh, you know, always came back. And when he did and I was like, no, no, no. He beat death in a game, man. He can do whatever he wants. But he did not, because that is not how life works. Uh, unless there are actual necromancers, in which case, y'all real slow, get to it. Yeah, he was he's very both my my dad and my and, and his dad we didn't they didn't usually get angry in public they didn't or like you'd never see them upset they had like a a general state of mm, contentness i guess they don't let too many things bother them uh but one of the times he was like on death's door and he was really out of it he was still quite jovial. Like, he'd been in the hospital so many times in the nursing homes and stuff. Like, everyone knew him and they loved him because he's just a jovial guy and he's, he's nice. And even if he wasn't all there that day, like, sometimes family would go in and he wouldn't recognize us and what have you. Uh, he was still pretty jovial. And one time, he was, like, bopping his head, sitting in the chair. He couldn't remember pretty much anybody's name that was there. He was bopping his head in the chair and the doctor was like, something the matter? And he was like, you don't hear that music? And they're like, no, what music? And he started having auditory hallucinations. And first it was, uh, uh, what was it? First it was swing music, which he liked. And then like big band, and he's like, yeah. And then someone had asked him after that, after those auditory hallucinations, cause he had, he had like a different beat about him. At that time they were like, what, what, uh, what are you listening to now? And he was like, um, maybe like, Oh, I forgot what he said. Maybe like a mariachi band or something. I don't know. I can't understand the words. That's crazy to me that your head will make up things in other languages. But it's like when you go to sleep, sometimes you dream in other languages if you study them. Or when you're inebriated, you, you have less inhibition so you can speak other languages proper, more properly than you would normally. Um, I guess it's kind of like that since it's your subconscious. You heard some stuff. Or it could have just been gibberish and his brain was so out of whack that it was like, yeah, that's another language, which is also entirely possible. But all that stuff is really cool to me. And I, I love studying Kagsai in, like, my, in my, my spare time, if you want to call it that. I love learning about cognitive science because it's all super cool to me. But the best part, oh, well, the, the, the best part of him being there was one day he was so out of it. We were like, oh no, he might actually die. And they were trying to like get a gauge of where he was mentally that day. So they were asking him all the time, like, oh, what's your name? Where do you live? And he couldn't like answer them properly, or you could see that he was thinking really, really hard. And the nurse gets up to him and she's like, what's your favorite animal? And my dad's dead. He like stopped thinking, looked up at her and smiled. And he goes, women. So. I just want y'all to know, if you're a pervert for life, oh, you're really a pervert for life. When your brain stops working properly, you're still gonna be a perv. And it was cute and adorable, but I, I, I just know now, when you are a perv, it stays with you. Even when your brain stops working normally, maybe, 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 you know, like you have a traumatic brain injury, you're still gonna be a perv. That I've learned. I've learned, and apparently it burned out 
of my system because I'm not nearly as creepy as my grandpa's dad, my dad's dad, or my dad. So I'm happy. Maybe my kid, maybe it just skipped a generation. I was trying to figure out, like when I'm writing the outline for this episode, I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do for the outro because it's the end of the season. And I don't have a specific theme for the next season. Like season two was the school years. Season four is going to be about my family again because I still got plenty of stories to tell you. And I hope you'll all tune in. And I hope you enjoyed this season. I, I hope I've been entertaining enough and I hope this helps. I know I've had conversations with Valerie Ruggieri where she's like, well, it's more so, the, the, the part of it is not only is it cathartic for you, but you may also be able to connect with other people who are out there. And that's what the internet's all about, connecting everything. Well, not everything, because we don't want to give the robots the brains and the bodies and the weapons to kill us all. I don't want the robot uprising, but I don't know. It's cathartic. It feels good. It's funny. And I hope that it helps other people too. Like talking about things makes me feel better. Maybe it helps you guys feel better too. And it gets me closer to y'all. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm about to use my southern bell voice. Oh. <laughs> and with that, why am I getting so close to the camera? Hello. With this creepy ending, see, this is my brand of creepy. I'm not like a pervert creepy. I'm just a, like a <laughs> creepy kind of guy. But yeah, uh, I'll see y'all in the next season. I mean, I'm sure I'll see you before then, but I'll see y'all in season four of On Fairy Tales. Bye! Hey there, guys and gals. Thanks so much for watching, as always. If you click the link on the left, you'll be taken to the previous episode. If you click the link on the right, you'll be taken to the playlist where you can watch them all.